What you see in front of you is a robotic hand that is capable of detecting and mimicking human hand gestures. This project has been in the making for well over two months. So today, I'm gonna tell you how I made it, how it works, and how technology like this might just become a part of our lives someday. The original idea was inspired by a previous project of mine. That project was the Iron Man hand. It was a replica of Iron Man's arm that I 3D printed as well as painted and soldered with the help of Zenik and Sonia Palik. The project was a big success, and even after it was completed, I would find myself putting it on. The idea of being able to control something so robotic as if it were another limb was fascinating. It made me wonder, what if I could control it without the need to wear it? The only question was how. Now, I've got a bit of experience coding, and when it comes to projects like these, it becomes an essential skill. I decided to use Python as my programming language of choice for this project, as that is the language that I'd started teaching myself how to use just before embarking on this project. At first, all this project could do was count your fingers. But that was actually an essential part of this project, and I'll explain why in just a minute. But how do you control something physical from a computer? My system works by placing landmarks on your joints and on your fingertips. It then tracks these landmarks and recognizes whether or not the tip of your finger is above or below your lowest joint. From there, it tells my system if your finger is opened or closed. The same system works for thumbs, however instead of tracking up and down, it tracks left to right. Now all that's left is to get these servos into this hand. Unfortunately, I came to the realization that if I installed these systems inside this hand, they would likely be permanent, which is why I decided that I would make a new hand using 3D printing. In fact, most of this project was made using 3D printing. For those who may not know or completely understand how 3D printing works, it's basically just making an object by adding material rather than removing it. It works by melting and then cooling these plastic layers in a very specific way, going layer by layer until it makes whatever object you desire. Prior to this project, I had made the decision to teach myself how to 3D print. I even went as far as to buy myself a printer. Ever since then, I've been applying my knowledge of this field to prototype all my ideas and bring to life all these projects, such as the one that I'm presenting here today. Even the Iron Man hand was 3D printed. Because wiring couldn't be shown for this presentation, Zenik Palik and I spent a long time brainstorming and then working on creating this rectangular based prism that would contain everything while still allowing a connection to the computer. However, then that begged the question of how we were going to cover the wiring of the hand itself. And that's actually when I revisited the idea of the Iron Man hand, as the actual arm piece itself would provide the perfect cover. Once I printed a stand and assembled everything, all that was left was to test it. And gather my family, of course. As mentioned earlier, I chose to code this project using Python, as it was a skill that I really wanted to learn. And speaking from experience, there is no better way to get good at something than to simply start doing it. Over the course of this project, I have learned more through the action of fixing errors and making reforms than I ever would have had I just watched some tutorials for a project that was already made. In conclusion, this project allowed me to use my creativity and my knowledge of science to create a robotic hand capable of detecting and mimicking my actions completely hands-free. Over the course of this project, I studied, researched, and learned so much more about this exciting aspect in the world of computer science. Detection in computers is improving every day, and I would have never known how amazing it truly was if it wasn't for this project. 
With further adjustments, over time, this project could one day allow people to control incredibly complex systems and machinery, completely hands-free. But as it stands currently, my project can be seen as a stepping stone towards greater heights. Which is why I wanted to share its potential to the world. Starting here.